Hello to our Gold viewers from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC for Gold Learning. Well, I have the pleasure of sitting down and chatting with Dr. Martin Kaplan today, and he is going to be presenting at our upcoming Gold Learning Online Tongue Tie Symposium, and he's going to be talking about comprehensive review of laser soft tissue physics, infant lip and tongue frenum surgery. Well, welcome, Martin. It's great to have you here at Gold again. Well, thank you. Glad to be back. Yeah, well, we've been having a lot of fun today. It is Fun Friday here. We're recording this little event on a Friday, and uh, it's been great uh, getting to chat with you today. But perhaps uh, we can roll back a little bit, and you can reintroduce yourself to our listening audience today. Tell them a little bit about yourself, uh, perhaps what you do in your professional journey, and what your day-to-day -day looks like right now. Uh, my day-to-day -day, day -day is very different almost every day, but um, let's see. I'm a pediatric dentist. I've been uh, practicing private practice for 40 years now in uh, Stoughton, Massachusetts. Um, over the past 15 years, I became very interested in uh, laser dentistry and started to uh, get a little more educated as the um, lasers became a little more popular. And about 14 to 15 years ago, I took my first class in lasers. Wow. And for the past 15 years, I've been pretty actively engaged in it. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I practice all my regular pediatric dentistry, but about 12 to 14 years ago, I started learning about the possibility of treating infants with lasers by doing phrenectomies, which before that I was uh, treating just surgically, but never on newborns. Right. And then when I got exposed to this whole new world of uh, treating babies for breastfeeding problems, um, I just became completely in in embellished in uh, learning as much as I could from it. And uh, I met Allison Hazelbaker, I met uh, Kathy Watson Jenner, and a whole bunch of other people along the way. I've been reading textbooks and educating myself. And now I could possibly just be treating infants almost every single day in my office. I went from treating maybe one every five months to I get about 10 phone calls a day presently wow. in my office from people all around uh, New England and actually from outside of the country. Wow, that's incredible. I, I can imagine, um, and I know that, uh, I mean, I know how popular you are. Uh, you do incredible work, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, for and, and thank you for sort of paving the way, because I think that, you know, this is definitely a topic that uh, still needs a lot of research. We still need to have a lot more practitioners. They need to be trained uh, effectively uh, to do that work. And and so let's talk a little bit about uh, the laser treatment, because this, of course, is your specialty. So um, your presentation is specific to laser treatment of tongue ties. So why is it important for healthcare professionals to really understand uh, themselves about, uh, you know, laser versus, uh, you know, scissor, scalpel, other procedures, um, even if they don't perform them themselves? Well, um, when I was first doing phrenectomies, and it certainly wasn't on infants, um, I enjoyed it because it was surgery, but part of the problems were, was that, you know, besides in, in, in liking to do the procedure because you were helping somebody, you had problems with vision, seeing the area because it was bleeding, there was a lot of post-op discomfort, there were sutures involved with things um, by getting the treatments, and I could never imagine trying to treat a baby with this. But um, as I became uh, educated to uh, lasers and I started out what was called the diode laser about 14 to 15 years ago, I realized right. I could do a lot of the surgery that was minimally invasive. There was very little, there was very little bleeding in it, and it was a much quicker procedure and a lot less painful. So um, I, I actually was exposed to part of this at the American uh, um, Academy of Laser Dentistry. I actually heard Larry Cotlow discussing it several years ago, and it, it kind of piqued my interest. And, um, you know, we became friendly, and uh, a lot of people at the academy started to learn more about this, and a certain group of us just started to take off and learn as much as we could to try to help. And then um, as my education started to progress, I realized that a laser is not a laser, and I've heard about people, um, especially around the area here, starting to treat more infants because supposedly it was the thing to do. And just because you have a laser doesn't mean you know exactly what you're doing, and lasers aren't lasers. So the, there are different types, which is partly why I guess I was invited to do this talk, 
because the lasers are, um, there are certain ones called contact lasers and there are optic lasers in the presentation that we're going to be going through will give a pretty good idea for people um, that are attending this this um, series, you know, how to understand better what the laser procedures are. But um, lasers um, in general, especially the, the optic ones that I now favor, have um, a quicker um, treatment time for the babies, or actually for anybody that's treated with a laser. The healing is, is um, a little bit quicker and the pain is a lot less. Having said that, everybody who well, everybody is different how they respond to different types of treatment, and sure. it's not just doing laser treatment. You also have to understand, as I'm sure everybody knows who's going to be involved in the seminar, that it's not just doing the treatment. There's body work that's involved. There's uh, the mother that you have to deal with who has to understand what the baby could be going through, and there's a whole psychological component sure. to all of this also. Yeah, it's, it's certainly many different uh, levels of care that we've discovered. Um, I know even for me as an IBCLC, I, I, my, pra my complete practice has changed from when we started um, having the availability of different, um, you know, practitioners, uh, whether it be scissors or laser. And of course, we have different lasers in my area too. So I, I'm really looking forward to actually hearing more and understanding really delving deeper and because I've already had a sneak peek, I'll tell our delegates, I've had a sneak peek already at this presentation and you're in for a real treat. You'll have a much better understanding, I know, and, and, and Martin is a, a very good uh, instructor, so you're going to have a great sure. time learning more from him as well. Um, tell us, so this, I was going to say, this really, this is what led you to your book because let, let's mention the book right now. Um, yeah. you, have, you have a new book that you've just brought out. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, as I was going along my little journey here, um, you know, by treating the infants, I realized there was there weren't many resources available. And after I attended a few years ago, and that's where I met um, uh, several people at the uh, the IATP meeting in, in Florida, uh, I just I just realized there's there's not many training uh, manuals available. So everybody was right. learning from word of mouth and anecdotal. And um, I really, as, as also as my laser education became more involved to evolved rather, I realized that different lasers do things differently. And there are erbium lasers, there's diode lasers, there's carbon dioxide, and they all treat tissue differently. And I wanted to find a way to try to put this together. So I kind of hooked up with Allison Hazelbaker with Dr. Bob Conversa, who's uh, actually published three dental laser textbooks, and they're the most popular ones in the globe. And I met uh, Peter Vitrick, who's a laser physicist and happens to be the, the founder of LightScalpel. And the four of us got together and we just put together this book to try to help. The biggest problem we have now is people saying there's no evidence-based research, but at least we're starting somewhere now. Uh, sure. Some of the universities that I'm involved in uh, are kind of standing back a little bit. They don't want to get involved in this supposedly controversial uh, type of treatment. But the benefits of these babies are just phenomenal. I mean, yeah, we all have anecdotal reports here that oh, just prove what they're doing as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Yeah, so thank you for uh, updating us on that and, um, and you know, having that available for many of us who are isolated is just, you know, is a perfect resource. Okay, let's get back focused uh, onto your actual topic because I just want you to, I had asked you earlier if you could uh, mention one takeaway that you're hoping that our delegates will get from this presentation, what would it be, Martin? Well, the most important thing is a laser is not a laser and you need to be educated. Um, if you don't know how your laser or the tool you're using is working, it's, it's, it's not, you're not going to get the best result. And yeah. I get very concerned where I hear people saying, I'm going to go find a laser dentist or a laser physician to, to do the treatment. And sure. you can go out actually, in, a dentist or a physician go out and purchase a laser just read a manual or have a salesperson tell them how to use it, and then they think they're, you know, they're on their way to doing great procedures. You have to be educated. You either have to study through the American Board of Laser Surgery or the Academy of Laser Dentistry to at least get some basic education. Just by learning from a, a manual is not the way to go. So that's the not biggest enough. thing for me. Lasers aren't yeah. lasers. And I even tell my patients that when they come in. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's... Uh... I'm looking forward to you tying that all into your talk. Uh, thank you so much. Again, uh, Dr. Martin Kaplan is going to be with us for our Gold Learning Online Tongue Tie Symposium 2017, Putting the Pieces Together. It will be live on September 18th. You can go to our website at goldlearning.com to find out about 
all of that's what's coming up for our tongue tie symposium check out all the other speakers as well thank you again for being with us here today martin it's been great having you here my pleasure and again for our listening audience thanks for tuning in and we'll look forward to having you back again bye-bye for now everyone <laughs>